and welcome to my studio. Thank you so much for joining me today. Currently we are working on alcohol inks techniques. So let's get started with one of our videos. Let's do a sky. And let's start out with our white mixative. And let's do the whole background first so we don't turn it green. Well, pretty well dry here. I'll leave that guy open here. And I'm going to be using a color. For some reason, they stopped putting some of the colors on our blues. So, kind of a sky blue color. And what we're going to do is we're going to use this with our mixative a little bit. And we're going to kind of just play with it and there will be no right or wrong on it so i'm just going to put my blue on there and i'm going to put my blending solution in it and you can see how it's tightened to take off and you could use your brush if you want to now be careful because we don't want to pick all of this black or white up from the bottom so that it does turn blue but the mixative will just kind of move it around on us. And we can kind of move it here and there as well. And I'm kind of going up and down instead of across so I don't pick up that white underneath. The mixative also thins the color out. So we may want some thicker colors. And you could do this with your brush or your sponge. You just don't want to slide it. We just want to keep that up and down. And I'm just using it with my finger because I think it's just as easy here. And what we're going to do is we're going to get this covered up and then we're going to come back in and add some more to it here. And you could play here and see if you like the alcohol inks, or excuse me, using the alcohol better than the additive. I think this is one time that the additive is probably going to give you a little bit more control than the alcohol, but that's a personal opinion. So we've kind of got this all... Now another thing, instead of doing it kind of like I did, you've got, you've got some texture into it though, you could add your mix and your blue together and then just wipe them on to have that one coating in the background. But by doing it this way, it's going to give us a little bit different texture. So kind of depending on where you think your sky might be, we're just going to play this around. If your clouds would go one direction or another. You could even add a little bit of silver in here as well. You could use your brush or whatever you want to to kind of control it a little bit more. I've got it going the way I want it to look and I'm going to bring my mix of white in here and I'm just going to add a little bit of blending solution I should be doing this on my felt Let's add the white in And every one you do is going to look different. There is no right or wrong. But I kind of want to give the sky feel here. Kind of make a 
good piece of it. But just continue to play with it until you have it where you like it. And the only thing you don't want to do is have the runs down it. So just kind of pick that up. Kind of like those are kind of cool because they're kind of going off to the side. And if you get a place where the white is coming off, we're just going to put that white right back onto it. So it's not a big deal at all. And however you want to continue playing with that, you may also decide that you like the um, squirted with the water or the alcohol. You might like that look better. And we'll give this a minute here. I'm going to let this dry just a second and then we'll squirt it on just to see what it looks like. But also it could be almost kind of a, a water or an ocean type of thing as well. So just use that, play with it, and see what you like. So I'm going to go ahead and spray this. And I like to spray kind of up and then direct it where I want it to go. And that really looks oceany kind of looking. And so then go ahead and heat set that. Thank you so much for watching our video today. One of the great sources for alcohol inks is BlueWellArts.com as well as your local scrapbooking section, so check those out. This is one of many of the alcohol inks techniques that we are currently doing, so make sure you check out all of our others. Give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our YouTube channel so you can be one of the first to be notified when they are out. God bless. Thank you.